In this video we're going to be looking at something with a very fancy title called Prime Factor Decomposition. So it sounds awfully complicated and when you get a question on it, it will be referred to as writing a number as a product of its prime factors. So very briefly, let's have a look at what that question is actually asking us to do. Let's break it down. Now, the word product in mathematical terms means multiplication. So we're going to have some timesing involved. We now know from the previous videos what a prime number is. Okay, So we know that it's going to be a product of prime numbers. Okay, And we also know what factors are. So it's going to be a product of prime numbers that are also factors. So that is how this is broken down, what we're going to be looking at. So let's look at the number um, 24. Now the first thing to do is to remind ourselves of prime numbers, okay? what the prime numbers are. So it goes 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. Okay? Now, 24... What we want to do is we want to find a prime number that goes into 24. And it doesn't matter in which order you pick your prime numbers. Okay? So you might think to yourself, right, I know that 2 goes into 24. So I use a tree where I'm writing two lots of 12 makes 24. And once I have this branch, I circle any prime numbers that come out of it. So 2 is prime. I then look at 12. 12 is not prime. So now I look for a prime number that goes into 12. 2 goes into, prime, uh, two goes into 12. So 12 can be written as 2 times 6. 2 is prime, so I circle it. I'm now having to deal with 6. Which prime number goes into 6? Well, 2 goes into 6 three times. 2 is a prime number, so I circle it. And 3 is also a prime number. So I've now gone as far as I can. When I've run out of numbers to look at, that's as far as I can go. And so, 24 can be written as a product of its prime factors. So I multiply together all four of the numbers that I've circled. These are all prime numbers. They are all factors of 24. And I write it as a product. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. You can then write that, because we know that 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed, we could write 24 is 2 cubed times 3. And this is prime factor decomposition. Let's look at another one. Okay, so I'll show you kind of a few different variations. Um, let's say we try um, 48. Okay, now, 48, I'll go a little bit quicker this time, 48 is even, so 2 goes into 48, 24 times, 24 is even, so 2 goes into it 12 times, 12 is even, so 2 can go into that 6 times, 6 is even, so 2 can go into that 3 times. 3 is also prime, so 48 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 to the 4 times 3. Okay, so that's how it can be done relatively quickly. 
Now let's say that you've done this in a different order. You could have done it with 48 and thought to yourself, right, well 48 is 3 lots of 16. Okay, so we circle the 3. 16 isn't prime, so it's even. So 2 goes into it 8 times, 2 goes into that 4 times, and 2 goes into that twice. So you still end up with 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, okay, with exactly the same answer. So it didn't matter which prime number I started with. You could also look at 48 and go, well, 48 I know is 4 twelves. Neither of these numbers are prime. So if I then look at prime numbers that go into 4 and 12, 4 is 2 times 2, they're both prime. 12 is, let's say, 3 fourths. 3 is prime, and 4 can be written as 2 times 2. You still end up with 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, with exactly the same prime factors, which you then multiply together. So the order in which you do this doesn't matter, but you do just keep on breaking the number down into ever smaller numbers, which then it gets easier and easier to find prime numbers that go into them.